Yo, it is Monday morning, just smashed it at the gym, heading over to um, the architect's office for an uh, important design meeting uh, on one of the projects uh, with all of the investors. We are just <coughs> looking at the details of um, increasing the massive on the scheme for, uh, on the side for another scheme that we're working up. Uh, it's going to be quite an interesting session actually because we're kind of running out of time so uh, we've really got to plan for a lot of stuff, get everyone onto the same page um, and see if we can find a way to take the project forward. So uh, diving into that session now, it should be interesting, let's go. It's semi snowing as well, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I think I may have made the wrong choice of clothes. <laughs> No, I didn't have time to have an elongated cold shower to cool my body temperature down after my workout. So, just outside in a t-shirt, just so I can get my body temperature down a bit. Yes! Woo! We've had so many bloody ridiculous meetings that just annihilate your plans. Yeah, it's Tuesday afternoon. I've just been to see, um, I'm leaving here, Fitzroy Place where I've been living for the past two years. Um, so I've just been to see Rathbone Square, which is um, another uh, decent high-end development, which uh, just finished just finished building out over the past couple of weeks. So some of the first apartments are completing there. Just went down to check out all the facilities and whatnot, um, which is really cool. They've got um, they've got pool and sauna, um, steam room, etc. So which I don't have over here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so just going to make a decision and see if I want to put a rental offer in on one of those apartments. That'd be pretty cool. Um, right now. I am meeting um, Daniel and Harriet. So we are here. This is Daniel. Hi. Hi. And um, we are about to have a big session running through the business processes. I've just shot across town to um, GVA officers who are our uh, planning consultant for London Bridge Project. Um, so I'm running a little bit late, just stepping into that meeting now. Thanks. I think I'm late. <laughs> so right now it's 8pm. I'm in the same meeting room that I came into just a short while ago. Everyone has gone. I'm in the GVA offices in the city. Um, literally following that meeting, um, we finished up at about 6.30, something like that. Um, and then Zaf and I had a bit of afters to do. Um, and then I had a seven o'clock conf call. Um, so I just got off my seven o'clock call now. This is one of my um, buddies who was um, on my team working with me back when I was at Y Combinator. Um, and since then he has basically become um, a cryptocurrency um, expert extraordinaire. Um, he's a trader. Um, and he's help, he helps companies actually do their ICOs. So I had a big chat with him um, about the potential of doing something interesting in the real estate space using you know, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. And we're discussing like what does a REIT, a real estate investment trust, need to look like in the crypto space. Um, so some really, really interesting conversations. Um, the long and short of it is, of course, I need to put a team together. We have to build out more technology. Um, but I think it's definitely one that I've got on my horizon for you know the future direction of spaces and you know how do we do some really interesting things um, in the in the fundraising space related to the asset acquisitions um, before I kind of went into this conversation I was actually thinking a little bit more along the lines of would an ICO make sense for um, the current spaces fundraise that I'm doing the VC round to complement it or instead of it um, but now looking at it I think the play is far bigger than that it's not something I'm about to get distracted with. I'm not about to kind of move away from my core focus, um, but it's definitely, definitely something which, I, which I'm going to have firmly on the horizon. Um, and when the time comes, we'll be looking very carefully at, you know, issuing REITs um, in the crypto space. And I think what makes it super interesting is the fact that, you know, we'll be doing a, a real estate backed income producing type of um, investment. 
um, which I think will be a really good addition to the crypto space because there's not a lot happening specifically um, in that part. Um, and we can be one of the very, very early movers in that space. Most people doing um, ICOs right now are just you know, tech companies, obviously doing blockchain related technology, but they're still technology companies and it's a lot more speculative. Um, so when the market matures and more established asset classes get involved, like real estate, um, I think it will be a really exciting time. And by getting in, getting, getting in there early, um, we can potentially you know, be you know, right at the start of a massive, massive wave. So I'm um, really looking forward to explore that conversation. It's not one for immediately right now, um, but once I've completed the current fundraise, I can see how it, how it slots into the overall strategy for spaces. So a great chat, I love cryptocurrencies, um, and can't wait to see what happens. But right now, as I say this, cryptos are now in another crypto winter. We've seen massive crashes in the crypto market, which I love. I'm gonna use the opportunity to um, put more capital into cryptocurrencies um, and buy in at good rates, because the long-term uh, um, you know, potential of these things is just, is just phenomenal. It's revolutionizing the world. There will be lots of volatility in the short term, but it's a long-term play. Um, and I love the space. Yeah, I've been in cryptos, by the way, since um, 2011, 2012. Um, I bought Bitcoin at $30. Um, I bought Litecoin at $2, $3. Um, uh, and then more recently, you know, I was doing mining. I put my whole corporate network to use on mining, to work on mining. This is like years and years ago. Um, and then I went quiet for a while after the previous crypto winter. Um, and I recently started buying again strategically um, last year. Um, I do two things. I put money in every month into cryptos um, and I deploy lump sum capital when I see good buying opportunities. Um, and I, yeah, like I say, I'm a long-term believer. Um, so yeah, I love the crypto space and uh, it'll be really exciting to see how it can work for spaces real estate.